So today we are going to be trying four different sodas. One is a bazooka bubblegum soda, a cotton candy soda pop, one slim it, and then a whirly pop, um, crap, what's it? Rainbow fruit punch, and then we got a, a root beer, Australian owned. This one is really cool. Australian family owned. It says Bundaberg root beer. And I think we're gonna try this one. Here's the, that one like, here's the lid. It's really cool. Okay. How do I? I think this is zoom in. I think it's a. No, no it's not. It says pull. Coda. Yeah, well, I oh. broke it, I think. Oh my goodness. Pull out and then Ow. up. Oh, well, crap. Uh, Y'all, now we have to figure out how to open this. Hold on. Uh, we might have to do this with another thing. <laughs> 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 Honey, that's why you should read stuff. No, wait. Stop. Just, just. Uh, not the best opening. No. Mm. Yeah. Um, cool tabs right here. Uh, yeah. How, how are we gonna get this open? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Try and, like, no, that, you're gonna cut yourself. You're gonna cut yourself on that piece. Okay, that's so cool. Alright, we finally got it open. Kind of. Half butt. Because you're supposed to use a pull tab. I know. To then pull it. Yeah, I actually ripped it I'm off. I'm having to pry it. Oh, Ooh. Mom! Good job on splashing it. <laughs> okay, well, So it's here's open. what it looks like open. And, um, it looks like an old like medicine bottle almost. It does. I really like that bottle. I want to buy some more to put up. It, that's an Australia. It's Australia. Huh. Different than our root beer? Yeah, way different. Really? Hmm. That actually kind of tastes like beer. I don't really know what beer tastes like, but it tastes weird. Yeah. Mm, this is... Is it alcohol-free? It better be. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so it says Australian family-owned root beer. I don't know what they, um, like, do they mean actual beer? Ingredients, carbonated water, cane sugar, root beer, brew water, sugar, molasses, ginger root. You're probably tasting the ginger root. For the molasses. Sarsip. Perilla, I don't, I can't pronounce that. Root, licorice root, vanilla bean, and natural flavors. There's no alcohol in this. Huh, it tastes weird. It does taste weird. I don't know, maybe so we don't waste these. Maybe we shouldn't open them all. I think we're going to do one last one. Okay, you can do that one. So, hold on, wait, wait. So, we got the bazooka, cotton candy. And the whirly. I think. Crap. This one was interesting. Interesting. This is a weird debate. Hopefully that doesn't go flat. Okay, we're gonna do the whirly. Whirly pop. Rainbow whirly pop. And we have some old fashioned candies. Yeah, the same. Uh, where's the bubble? I'm not sure. Oh, well. Smells very fruity. Ooh. Excuse me. Ooh, that's good. But this is a lot of blue dye. That's like. Mmm. I, I can't really describe the smell, but just fruity. It smells like a. What? It smells like a lollipop. Like. Oh, ew. 
That was gross, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought my tongue would be blue. Yeah, it's not blue. Okay, that's really good. It, ta it literally tastes like... That, this tastes exactly what it says. Whirly. It's a whirly pop. I mean, it really tastes like just a fruity <laughs> lollipop. Crap. So, it has me curious and interested to do these next. The bubble gum and the cotton candy. We might do these later tonight. Like, I'm obsessed with anything bubble gum and cotton candy. Later tonight, flavor. we might do these, but um, first, um, we got this. A Hershey's chocolate bar. It's probably going to be the same, of course. The old fashioned Hershey chocolate. Uh, Oakland? Open. Oakland? <laughs> oh gosh, all those dishes. Oh my goodness, that's Mongo. Oh yeah. I'm going to have to save some of that for Pappy. Yeah. I don't want none of that. Yeah, normal. Yeah, just a normal Hershey. The only thing that's different is the size and the package. Something I want to try is this Queen's Delight Wild Berry Drops. Listen to that. It's on ASMR video. Yes, it is. Stop. Why? Being dumb. Am I gonna embarrass you? I know Carlos is probably gonna watch this. Hi, Carlos. If you do watch. Okay. Uh. Oh wow, these are different than I thought they would be. Okay. Hey. Wow. Okay, so there is, I guess it's blackberry and raspberry. I wish I had strawberry and lemon. Mmm. Mm. I'm putting the Ziploc bag. These are really good. Mm. They tasted exactly like I knew they would. What, have you had them before? Mm, similar to that. The old people, the old timey people on here, the OG people, like me, like in the 80s, they probably remember back in the 90s, there was fruit, if y'all remember, fruit Altoids, they came in a tin similar to this, they had like orange and then like mixed berry as well, I think, if anybody else remembers that, let me know, because those were my absolute favorite. And then we have... Razzle bubble gum. That's candy, and then you. Oh yeah, we're wondering where we got all these. We got them at Cracker Barrel. We have mini chiclets. We also have. I'm gonna make them some tea later, and I'm gonna use these for that. Honey spoons. But if you're wondering, like, where you can go to try these for yourself. It's Cracker Barrel. Yep, we love Cracker Barrel. Or as Bob would say, Crackle Barrel. Cracker. Crackle. There's Beeman's Chewing Gum, Clove Chewing Gum, and Blackjack Chewing Gum. I also know that the what oldies remember these too. I grew up eating these. So good. So you swallowed them? Yeah, I probably did. Mm -hmm. Back when I used to swallow my chewing gum, yes, you are correct. Okay, guys, That's that is what we have, but we still have a bit left. So, so maybe later tonight, probably around like 8.30-ish. I don't want to waste like, too much. Well, it'll probably be like tomorrow when you see this video, because it's probably not going to get posted tonight. But, well, but yeah, we'll try out the cotton candy, the bubble gum. And then all the other candies and stuff that we have. The time we're trying this currently is at um, February 11th, so you're probably going to see this on like the 12th. And Coda is the birthday boy, the birthday boy. Coda is the birthday boy. But it's almost over. Okay, guys. See ya!